This is Eugene Henrikovich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Lenovo IdeaPad B570 laptop computer. Lenovo IdeaPad B570. And we're going to show you how to replace a cracked screen, cracked LCD screen on the Lenovo B570 laptop computer. Uh, just like with all other computers, before we do anything, before we do any work on this laptop, we want to remove the battery and all power sources. And the way you do that, there's two levers on the bottom. You slide the right lever here to the right to unlock the battery. And then you slide this lever to the left, and then you slide the battery out. Put the battery to the side. Okay, now we flip the laptop over. For this particular model, the model number is shown on the lower left hand corner. It says B570 down here. Sometimes you also have a label on the palm rest and also there's a label on the bottom of the laptop that shows you the model number. Okay, also just like with just about all other laptops, you get to the screen by removing the screen bezel. And the screen bezel is held by two screws at the bottom, which are hiding behind some plastic screw covers. So that's where we'll start. But before we start, we'll go over the tools that we need. We have some electronics screwdrivers. First one is a PH1 screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and 1 stands for size. And then for smaller screws, we have a PH00 screwdriver. And just in case, we have a 2 millimeter flathead screwdriver, and most likely we will not use it for this procedure. We also have a hobby knife or exacto knife that's to remove plastic screw covers. And finally, a pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws that are stuck. So let's get started. I'm going to use our a hobby knife to remove the plastic screw covers. One and two. And then we use our PH1 screwdriver to remove the two screws at the bottom. For each set of screws, I like to keep them in a separate pile and in the order in which I remove them. So when we assemble the laptop, it makes it easier to keep track of which screws go where. Alright, after the screws are removed, we snap off the screen bezel. Uh, sometimes this is the hardest part of the whole procedure because it doesn't come off as easy sometimes, so we'll see. What I like to do is put my fingertips on the screen side and gently start lifting up the screen bezel and listen for snapping sounds. So, so far this one is fairly simple, so we keep moving along, like so. If you get stuck at a place, go to a different place and try that and come back to the place you're stuck at. So this one was fairly simple. We snap it off and we remove it. Okay, now we see the screen assembly. For this type of screen assembly, the screen is mounted to some metal mounting brackets on the sides with screws on the sides. So we have to get to the screws on the sides. And in order to do that, we have to tilt the screen forward a little bit from the screen assembly. So there are several tricks we use to do that. The first thing is to remove the two screws at the top that secure the metal mounting bracket to the back of the screen assembly. And once again, start a new pile of the screws. And we grab the screws. And then we try to tilt the screen forward a little bit. Okay, we see right away that there's not enough movement for us to move the screen forward enough to get to the screws to the side. So I have another trick. There's two screws that are holding the metal bounding bracket to the back of the screen assembly at the bottom. I don't want to remove them because I don't want the back of the screen assembly to fall back. So, But I do want to loosen them a little bit just enough to tilt the screen assembly screen forward from the screen assembly 
to get to the screws on the side. So these are the screws I'm talking about. There's one at the top and one at the bottom. We can almost get to them now. So I'm going to loosen up just a little bit more. Just enough to get to them. Like so. And now we have enough room to get to the screws on the, on the bottom. So we use our PH1 screwdriver to remove the screws. Once again, start a new pile for these screws. One and two. And make sure you have the screen tilted back a little bit when you're doing this. Because if you don't, once you remove all the screws, you don't want the screen to fall forward on you. Okay, one and two. Okay, so once the screen is free, we gently start tilting it forward. Sometimes this webcam cable has adhesive and gets stuck on the back of the screen, so you gently have to separate the webcam cable from the screen. In this case, we're okay. And we tilt it forward, and we see that the webcam cable does not allow us to put the screen down all the way. So we have two choices. We can either remove the connector for the webcam. I don't like doing that because it's one more thing to go wrong. Or we can loosen the adhesive that's holding the cable to the back of the screen. And once we do that, the screen can come down and we can work on it. All right. So now, once we do that, we see the back of the screen. It's an LED screen, so there's only one connector on it. And this connector is secured by some adhesive tape at the top. So we want to lift up this adhesive tape. And also there was some adhesive on the back of this cable. So we lift that up like that, and then we pull the connector out like so and the screen is free. Before we go any further, I want to show you how to reconnect this connector because this is the biggest source of trouble that I see. So we're going to reconnect it. And when you reconnect it, you will feel but not hear two clicks. That means it's in. And also, you don't want any space, any gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. You want it flush with each other, the connection to be flush. So uh, pause the video right here and make sure your connector looks exactly like that. Make sure there's no gap between the two sides of the connection. So this is as good a focus as we can get probably. There we go. This, this is about as good as it's going to get. Okay. So once again, we remove the video cable and we take a look at the screen. This is a 15.6 inch LED screen with a glossy finish. As of early 2012, this is the most common type of screen in laptops, so you shouldn't have any problem finding this type of screen. Let's take a look at the part number. The part number that you're looking for is LP156WH4. That's all you need to know. LP156WH4. Okay, now we at Screen Surgeons also offer this screen for sale. And what you get with Screen Surgeons is compatibility guarantee. If the screen we ship to you is not compatible, we'll ship you a replacement screen. You also get free email technical support when you do the installation and a two-year warranty on the screen. And finally, if you do not live in the United States, we ship all over the world. So wherever you are, you can order from our shopping cart and we can ship the screen to you. To order the screen from us, go to ScreenSurgeons.com, then click Buy a Screen. Then there will be a short form for you to fill out where you give us your email and your laptop model number. And uh, then we'll send your email back with the link to the right screen to buy online. And also, if you're in need of the tools, we sell this exact toolkit on our website. And you can order it along with the screen. 
Okay, uh, once you do receive the screen, you connect the connector, put the screen up, mount it in the mounting brackets with the screws on each side, and then this is very important, remember to tighten these screws at the bottom because if you don't, you can wear out your hinges and your hinge mounts very quickly. Then put the two screens, screws in at the bottom, snap the screen bezel back on, and put the two screws, screws in down here. And uh, that should be it, and you'll be ready to go. Okay, and that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrich. On the laptop screen doc, the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you.